Hi, it's Megan. I was at my local CVS today and um, ran into a new display. My CVS uh, tends to have like nothing and then all of a sudden it'll be like the only place in town that has some new collection. So this is the Rimmel Kate Moss Bright Collection. I think it's called the Kate Moss Bright Collection. It could be called the Kate Moss Tropical Collection because I grabbed the lipsticks and ran. I was picking up my car and I just I thought I would find more online about it but when I looked online I didn't find this very much so this is a brand new collection and even on the Rimmel website they didn't have any information so they have four or five shades 34, 35, 36, 37, and 38 and I'm gonna put them all on so right now I have on 34 which is uh, and I'm gonna I'm trying something new where I'm doing the introduction and giving the overview of the lipsticks and then I'm actually applying them. I've always applied them on camera, or almost always, but now I'm coming on camera with nothing on my lips and not removing them on camera and doing a closer up of it like I've seen some other people do. I think that's a bad explanation, but anyway. Um, this is inspired by Exotic Shores and they're saying it's tropical palette of colors jet setting you to sun-kissed locations. And, um, what did I think? Uh, so 34 is bubblegum pink, 35 is rose pink, 36 is fuchsia, 37 is coral orange, and 38 is pink nude. Overall, I was disappointed in these, honestly. Um, I've been a huge fan of Rimmel and the Kate Moss collections of the lipsticks. I've always felt like Rimmel's lipsticks were among the better of the drugstore brands, and consistently so. Um, but I felt like this particular collection mostly it is a little less opaque it's a little picks up your under color your underlying lip colors but I also felt like it was disappointing it's I said it's a lighter coverage light formula um, but I lose some of the top definition on my lip tone of my lips which happens to me with some lighter formulas and lighter shades just depending not consistently um, a lot of the NARS audacious the lighter shades it's like a beautiful definition of my top lip I don't understand it fully but it just is the way my upper lip works. And so it varies widely among lip shades and lip brands. But the Rimmel scent also, I've noticed it before, but I noticed it more on these. So I don't know if I'm getting older, more sensitive to scents, or if it's a little bit stronger on these. But if you don't like that Rimmel scent, that kind of chemical, fruity, sweet thing, then these are probably not for you. So. What I'm going to do now, and I paid like $5.99 I think per lipstick, They're not very much, but that was at CVS, which is more expensive, so I'm sure they're cheaper elsewhere. Um, and they lasted about an hour and a half on me, with the uh, coral orange and the fuchsia maybe lasting, which is 36 and 37, a little bit longer. So that's what I have to say about it overall. Now I'm going to apply them one by one, and you'll see what you think. Okay, first we're starting with 34, which they say is a bubblegum pink. Swatched. Uh, I feel like this falls a little bit into my lip lines. It's not patchy exactly as I apply it. It has that white undertone, that white base, and it definitely is a bubblegum pink, and to me, I see a little bit of a yellow undertone. So it's a pretty shade, but I'm gonna pull back a little. It looks a little kind of fake on, which you either like or you don't. And so that is 34. Okay, first we're starting with 34, which they say is a bubblegum pink. Swatched. Uh, I feel like this falls a little bit into my lip lines. It's not patchy exactly as I apply it. It has that white undertone, that white base, and it definitely is a bubblegum pink, and to me, I see a little bit of a yellow undertone. So it's a pretty shade, but I'm gonna pull back a little. It looks a little kind of fake on, which you either like or you don't. 
And so that is 34. Now I'm doing 35, which is a rose pink. And the swatch is right there. I don't see rose pink. I'm going to pull back a little bit so you can see it with my eyes. I like this one better. Uh, I'm not seeing rose pink so much. I see more a uh, lilac lavender undertone pink. Uh, not a super complex shade, but again, you can see both of these. They're barely full coverage. They have kind of a glossiness to them, which you either like or you don't, and I definitely think they pick up underlying lip colors. So that was 35. 36. This one, they say fuchsia. This is it. Swatched. I get better coverage with this one. And uh, let's pull back a little so you can see it with the eyes. Um, it's a bright fuchsia medium. I think it's more a kind of a brighter pink than a full fuchsia. I don't see, it does have a little bit of a purple tone, undertone to it, but it's more of a pink fuchsia, if that makes sense. And I, I think it's a little bit less uh, sheer than the other. So this one and the coral are actually the ones that you, I got the truest color from, and I felt like my lips had less of an impact on how they looked on. 37, so this one is a coral orange, and this is my favorite of them. Right there. You can see it's definitely orange and coral. It's just a rich orangey coral. I would say it leans a little bit more orange than coral though, but I think this description, it's, th these are not super complex colors. So there's really not a lot else to say. Uh, I just, a really rich red coral. It's exactly as promised. And it's a little bright, you can see. Definitely getting that tropical vibe thing going on. It's a pretty one. This one and the fuchsia do stain a little bit and they wear a little bit longer than the other shades. These last a little bit over an hour and a half where the others are a little bit under. Um, and I don't get any kind of, with this one and the fuchsia, I don't get any kind of, kind of like, filling in the lip line thing looking kind of funny. I don't get any bleeding with any of them, but they definitely have that lighter formula look on. You either like or you don't. The last one is a pink nude. And I actually think it's more of a peach based nude. Again, it's got that white base kind of look about it There's with my eyes. It's got that white base. It probably doesn't stay perfectly in focus when I do that, uh, but I figured I'd try it since I'm new to these really close-up videos. Uh, comments are welcome on that. But you can see it picks up my underlying lip color. Again, I think there's a little tiny bunching up in the lip lines on this one. And it's a very good rendition of what it is. It is not an excellent rendition of what it is. It's a nice lipstick. So overall, oh, the other thing I was going to say, these are not mattes. I read on a, the only review I could find that these are like a little bit more satin matte. I didn't think these were matte at all. I thought these were definitely kind of that sheer satiny kind of uh, lip formula. And I thought they were all fine, but not really up to the Rimmel past Kate Moss releases in my opinion. I'd love to get people's thoughts or feedbacks though because like I said I haven't seen a lot of other reviews on these. Thanks for watching. Um, please subscribe on YouTube. Bye.